Steady, heavier rain is out of here. Some of our northern spots, they're like, what, what rain? I mean, there wasn't much up towards Sheboygan and Fond du Lac, and even Ozaukee County and Washington County didn't pick up much. But look at the south end of the area. You got Kenosha, nearly an inch of rain. Officially at the airport, 1.5 inches of rain. Muskego, 1.64. Franklin, 1.41 inches of rain. All those locations on the south end of Milwaukee and into the southern spots over an inch of rain. Then you get north of Milwaukee and the totals start going down. By the time you get to the TMJ4 studios here on Capitol Drive, 72 hundredths. By the time you make it up to Cedarburg, only 8 hundredths of an inch of rain. Now we still have the wind. The wind isn't going anywhere for at least the next few hours, and we're going to have winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour at times. This is a live look in Port Washington and look at the lake. Again, we've been watching these waves crashing here up against the breakwaters. 52 degrees right now in Port Washington. The camera is shaking here. It's making me dizzy in Milwaukee. 52 degrees northeast winds sustained at 20 miles per hour across southeastern Wisconsin. The temperatures are going to hover around where they currently stand. Lower 50s, upper 40s, 52 in West Bend, 50 the current temperature in Fond du Lac. All right. Lake effect rain showers possible. Uh, the rain from the system that is to the south of us is exiting, but we'll have a north northeast wind and just the right conditions. We could get a few rain showers to, to develop right along the lakeshore. Still windy and nicer as we head into tomorrow. All right, the storm for max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. Nothing on the radar now and we'll go to the southeast and that's where we have our area of low pressure that's now spinning across Indiana. The bulk of the rain now across lower Michigan. Uh, you can see here by later on this afternoon by three o'clock, we are starting to get a couple of those lake effect rain showers and a few of them could clip the Milwaukee area later on this evening should be scattered, should be pretty light and they should be out of here by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. Tuesday, lots of sun in the forecast and as we head into Tuesday night, mainly clear skies. Heading into Wednesday, another start with a lot of sunshine, but then the clouds increase Wednesday during the day and it'll be Wednesday night that we have our next chance for some rainfall. As far as the rainfall with the potential lake effect rain showers, a few hundredths of an inch up to maybe a couple tenths of an inch. Just really depends on if you get under one of those showers, just like lake effect snow. All right, your forecast for today, windy with a chance of showers lakeside, 51 degrees for your high for tonight. Low temperature, 44, windy with a chance of rain showers along the lakeshore. Tuesday, lots of sun, 54 degrees, 57 on Wednesday, partly cloudy skies, couple nice, decent late October days there. Our next storm system arrives uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, some rain likely and possibly still some rain lingering into Friday morning. But hey, for Halloween weekend, I think we'll take it. 58 Saturday, 52 on Sunday. We've had worse. We've had a lot of snow on Halloween, so yeah. we'll take the 52 and run. I'd say for trick or treat, you pr pretty much do anything that's dry. Yeah, dry, right? and hopefully not having to wear the winter coat. <laughs> right. Coat, over the, over coats the over capes. It's never a good thing. <laughs> yeah.